K108 OC16 Slush Puppies Radio Tiny. A little uh, jumping into a new segment, a new set here with our Beach Boys. It's our Urban Beach Boys. Let's uh, welcome in Hal Wilkerson. Good morning, Hal. Good morning, Tiny. Good morning. How are you today, Very sir? Good. And there's our number if you want to call and be a part of the Urban Beach Boys, 524 1080. And who do you have with you this morning? Well, Tiny, good morning. This morning is uh, actually it's my good a good mate that I just met about two months ago. This is Rob Bertoff, and uh, Rob's actually one of the uh, premier SEO ex- experts, which is a uh, search engine optimization. But um, real quick, Tiny, um, Michael was unable to to make it this morning. He's a uh, He's doing his uh, his class, his uh, Honolulu mentor class this right. morning. No problem. And uh, so this morning it's just going to be me, and uh, Rob was uh, good enough to uh, to come in and, and be part of the show this morning. So we're we're really excited about it. But uh, I I did have another another guest that was that was scheduled to be with us this morning, uh-huh. and uh, she's actually from Maui. And so for all of our listeners that are out uh, here in Hawaii and those that are in Maui County on the island of Maui. Uh, there is a new ordinance in effect that is actually happening today, and um, it is the uh, the brown bag, uh, oh, the yeah. brown bag ordinance. And and essentially, what what is going on is the mayor of Maui has decided that there will be no more plastic bags. There will only be paper bags. And so, MauiBrownBag.com. For those of my listeners and our listeners that are over on Maui, uh, go to MauiBrownBag.com, and you can actually. Uh, Order some, uh, I believe they're locally uh, produced, uh, post-consumer waste, recycled brown bags. What is it again? It's MauiBrownBag.com. And Barbara was uh, was going to be on this morning. We we're going to have her on actually via Skype. And uh, t- she called me this morning, and unfortunately she has a severe case of laryngi- laryngitis and just couldn't... Uh, I couldn't really uh, speak, and so I could barely understand her myself when I spoke to her this morning. So, Barbara, if you're out there, uh, I hope you are feeling better, my friend. And um, and we wanted to just raise awareness for our for our listeners over in Maui. No more plastic bags. And so, if you're interested in uh, in in exchanging them or, or replacing them, this, this website right here, MauiBrownBag.com, is actually a uh, a great place to go. And uh, so there you go. You've got your information right there. Uh, again, you can see the date 1-11-11, which is today, and uh, get your uh, Maui Brown bag. She was telling me about it. You can actually have your own special, uh, I guess, uh, logo for your company uh, printed on and that whole bit, you know. So, um, but kind of an interesting thing, you know. Uh, it's something a little, little bit different. But I can actually see where now where, where companies are going to start making these. For you to take into shops because it's free promotion and yeah. everybody needs them. Yeah, and it's a, it's a lot more environmentally friendly. My my uh, my wife has a handful. She she likes to shop at Whole Foods and she's got all these post-consumer uh, plastic bags that are kind of like reusable and all this fun stuff. So uh, they're actually pretty handy. And um, but a good good show you had this morning, Tiny. I was oh, yeah. uh, interested in listening to your uh, your uh, tax lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. The and we're tax. after Zumba in with you. Yeah, Zumba. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and you know what else? Uh, more on that uh, that brown bag thing is they had a survey on, on the news station this morning, and they said, "Do they want this here in Honolulu? Would you want it?" And like. 50, 60 percent of the people said, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, why not? I mean, yeah. it, plastic, it kind of, it, it's, it's horrible. In fact, I would used to go into the market and ask for uh, paper bags, and they wouldn't give it to me. I'm like, mm. you don't have paper bags? Mm. It was such a hassle for them to go get one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the, and this is why I wish, uh, well, and I do want to have her. Barbara is going to be on in the future. Um, good, good. As she's talking about this, because they only, the ordinance went into effect today. Uh, they're not enforcing it just yet, but mm-hmm. um, one of the uh, questions, though, that I have is, w- you know, how efficient is it? Because the logistics required to get these kind of, the, you know, is it really a net zero on the carbon f- footprint of mm-hmm. all the logistics that are involved in getting brown bags out here to Oahu, so or up, out to Hawaii in mm-hmm. general? And so, uh, those are some questions that personally that I that come to my mind. But Barbara will be on, and we'll, we can we can talk to her and, and ask her about those things. Right. But or even to recycle, at least 
use them over, right? We definitely have to recycle, and 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 I, yeah, we we do, we do, but um, yeah, man. Well, well, cool. Well, that's the that's the Maui brown bags thing there, and it's okay. kind of a uh, a big a big th- event here today. So all of my Maui uh, listeners out there, go check it check it out at MauiBrownBag.com. And, and we have a lot of people who watch on uh, the neighbor islands, especially Maui. So we appreciate you guys being a part of the show. Yeah. Urban Beach Boy, just the boy today. <laughs> it's, uh, Mike uh, couldn't make it, but we do have Hal. And Hal, what's our theme we're talking about today? Well, you know, last week, Tiny, we had a we had a, some interesting characters on our, for our first sure. show, and we were talking a little bit about search engine op- optimization, and uh, actually, you know, was reminded of uh, of my friend Rob here, and uh, I actually learned a great deal about search engine optimization from Rob uh, about a couple months ago now at the Social Media Club Hawaii okay. Summit, mm-hmm. and um, um, it was very very good, but. You know, I wanted to uh, basically just introduce you, Rob, and and welcome to the show. Thank, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for joining us. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background. Well, I'm kind of um, been a geek my entire <laughs> life, so I started off in coding. Um, <laughs> it was good. Okay, I started off in coding um, quite a while ago, and um, we started off in game programming. You know, got into you know um, web programming eventually um, I was developing content management systems and things like this mm-hmm. and you know one of the things that I've you know along the theme of search engine optimization one of the things obviously is kind of like you go through this evolution of you know when web design first started out it was you know just got to have a website up right now now wait just a second yeah, let me pause please. let me interrupt you for just a second now you said developing content management systems yes okay so for our listeners out there tell us what is a content management I'll break system. it down I apologize yeah <laughs> so, so uh, the idea of Again, it's this evolution of the web, mm-hmm. right? And if you're looking at this evolution of the web, we're starting off, you know, got to have a website, mm-hmm. right? And this is, you know, 96, 97, it could be, you know, an animated GIF coming soon, people banging, whatever. And it was good because you had a website. Mm-hmm. And everything started to evolve. Um, as this evolution of requirements came mm-hmm. out, people want to be able to update their own content. Mm-hmm. And I think we'll definitely need to jump into later, um, you know, WordPress, Drupal. Sure, sure. yeah. These are examples of content management. Okay. Um, before, when, when when WordPress was still a blog, mm-hmm. and when Drupal was very early years, and a lot of these um, systems weren't even on the market, mm-hmm. I had developed one. Ah, and it was really? used here wow. in Hawaii, about 700 customers. Okay, that's and right. I, yep. I remember you. I right. read this, actually. Yes, yeah. okay. So I, had, um, I was the early adopter for content management. Okay. And really kind of brought that... Um, you know, here and now, now it's like I said. Now it, there's no sense to have your own CMS because the power of WordPress, the power of Drupal. And, and it's it's op- well, is WordPress or They're Drupal both open, open source? source? They're completely yeah. free, so it makes no it, it so, makes perfect sense. So let me, I guess, uh, let me see if I can in, yeah. break it down in my own layman's terms. So WordPress, which I, I use, I use WordPress for sure. a variety of things, but but WordPress is basically a a programming. Uh, interface or language. Actually, it uses CSS like and PHP. Yeah, yeah, it's a platform mm-hmm. that is in the background of most websites or most blogs and things right. like that. Right. So you can literally days. think of a website kind of like having an engine behind it. Mm-hmm. So the car has an engine. Right. And, you know, you know, the cool thing about it is that you can literally uh, update all your content mm. behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. So rather than having to go through a webmaster and things like this. And this yeah. technology, surprisingly, is still, a lot of people still haven't heard about this technology. Mm-hmm. Which is surprising to me because I've been in it for forever. Yeah. Um, but you know, WordPress and just to jump on this one again. You know, um, we just jump right into questions. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got some time. Yeah. Uh, but WordPress is my favorite of the two. If we're talking about Drupal or WordPress. Oh really? Okay. Um, Joomla. Is Joomla. Garbage. I've heard of Joomla. It's okay. Garbage. Oh, really? Yeah. Joomla is garbage. All right. So I'm gonna get some some, some nasty feedback on that. <laughs> no, it, it really is. When it comes down to, it, you have to look at ease of use. Mm-hmm. And also, how does it, again, this is getting to it, mm-hmm. how does it pertain to the search engines? How mm-hmm. can that content be visible? Indexed by, right, the, exactly. by the Google robot or robot, yeah. Right. right. See, I was trying to break down the language. Let yeah. me go back. To, <laughs> so, so, okay, so. So that's kind of how, the, how this progression went with me. So, so you started management. out, you built your own content management program. It was, it was fielded and used by 700 clients here in Hawaii, 700 um, users. Mostly in Hawaii. There was a few uh, mainland. As an example, um, uh, some mainland clients were uh, Domino's Pizza. Okay. Um, here in Hawaii, uh, Jamba Juice. Actually, Jamba Juice I think still is on it. Okay. Migrate to WordPress. <laughs> um, and um, a lot of other a lot of other local companies ranging from Hickam Air Force Base to the WP okay. Aquarium, et cetera, et cetera. So there was a lot there. But what they were doing is they were coming and they were saying, okay, you know, I was seeing this need for mm-hmm. them that they needed more than just having a web presence that mm-hmm. looked good, mm-hmm. was very functional. And again, okay. jumping back to, 
you know, content management. Right. If you want extra functionality in your site, let's say you want to have a blog, you want to have. Mm. And and without having to call you and pick up the phone every time install, they wanted to change so something. Yeah. yeah. So I've developed okay. about 12 WordPress plugins. Okay. So uh -huh. I'm. Um, developing niche software that doesn't exist yet for WordPress. I'm okay. developing the software out. Okay. An example of modeling agency software that I have. Okay. And modeling agency. Modeling agency. Okay. It doesn't exist. Okay. So I cre well, I had the software pr previously. Okay. I've completely, you know, I've rewrote. It's like ten times better now. Okay. Right? And you'd be surprised because I'm number one. I use my search engine optimization skills. Oh yes, we have to talk about that. So uh, yes, go so ahead. So somebody Google's <laughs> yep. that term, I come up. Sure. Number one, of course. Right. And I get results. In fact, I just made a, uh, this weekend. I made two sales. Made one in uh, New Zealand mm -hmm. and one in, I think, South a somewhere in South Africa. Okay. So, the power of the web, the power of reach, mm -hmm. using search engine optimization. Yeah. Um, that's the the, pr the prelude into it. I was in I was content management, and you know I was in web design, you know web manufacturing, mm -hmm. and really had the need to get people out there. So I started learning it myself. Okay. I had some really good mentors. One which we we talked about um, earlier. Um, yeah. SEO by the C dot mm -hmm. com. Yeah. Uh, SEO by the S E A dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic resource. Yeah. Um, you know I you know read different things. Search engine. Say journals, that again for me. The S. What is yeah, that's uh, SEO by the S E A. SEO by the Sea. A guy out of Oregon, isn't he? Uh, he's actually um, he's East Coast based. Oh, is he? Oh. Yeah. The huh. interesting thing about him is that he does what we don't want to do. Okay. He reads search engine patents. Really? So that's his that's his ah, thing. So he goes in so there. He fantastic guy, by the way. He goes yeah. in there. He reads all these patents mm -hmm. and then identifies what he believes these um, you know you know example here how a search engine might find Google bombing. Mm -hmm. So he reads the patent. And on, let's say, Google bombing, mm -hmm. and then interprets well, how he thinks the search engines are going to react. Now, granted, they publish, you know, for every one patent sure. that they use, they publish a hundred that they don't. Right. That's the the laborious kind of task of yes. this. Yes. So, yes. Yes. And have, being a patent writer, I know how laborious this yes, stuff is. I did want to talk to you about so. that as well. Well, let's uh, let's revisit while we're on <laughs> SEO here, and, and this is an amazing, I'm amazing a story. In a minute. Here. Oh man, it's it's incredible though. And by the way, you're uh, watching OC16 and uh, listening to us live on uh, K108 AM 1080 this morning. We're with Rob Bertoff here on uh, the Urban Beach Boys show, and uh, so. So, okay, search engine optimization. Yep. All right. Now, if I were to go to Google, in fact, Tiny, you can do this. Go to Google and Google uh, search engine optimization expert. Right. Search engine optimization expert. And lo and behold, who's going to be number one? I'm number one in the world. Number one globally for search engine optimization. And you're on Urban Beach Boys. There we go. I feel pretty <laughs> darn privileged right now. <laughs> um, so Search engine yeah, so go to Google and just type search engine optimization expert. Okay, this one. And look at all that, all those, those paid, paid ads, the first and then the organic. first one, Rob Bertoff, right there. Oh. And uh, that's that's that's, and you're you're beating out Mr. Web Guru, all these other. Yeah, a lot of different links. In yeah, he beat out the SEO guy. Yeah, well, I am the SEO guy. He is the SEO guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you actually go back, here's some here's another interesting search for you. Uh, if you search for more locally, okay. Hawaii search engine optimization. Yeah. Um, I am actually responsible for five of the top ten listings. Okay, and I believe we were just checking. We it just out checked there. that. Yeah, so one, one two, two, three, five, and seven. I think something along that okay. line. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the idea being that, you know, it's, it's something that's replicatable. Mm -hmm. If you understand how they think, mm -hmm. you can manipulate them. That's what it is. I mean, so I had this. I had this. Uh, so I, I teach over at UH, Pacific New Media. Uh -huh. um, in April, if you go to Pacific New Media's website, it's my next um, my next classes are in, in April. Okay. And this is before you know I found the love of my life kind of thing, and I'm kind of you know kind of jaded a little bit, and, and my terminology was what well, you could re reflected my personal view on things. Mm -hmm. And I used to say that the two types of marketing were um, manipulation and schmoozing. Okay. 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 Search engine optimization, the manipulation of the okay. search engines, okay. and schmoozing social media marketing. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so, so now I, I don't refer to those those words anymore because now I kind of have a different outlook. On life. <laughs> a little more happy, fuzzy. Uh, yeah, a little, a little of a happier version. But if you read my older posts on search engine optimization, yeah. at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. Okay. You're pandering to <clears throat> their needs, mm -hmm. and so, um, you know. And Google is all their their needs are essentially saying we want the best experience exactly. for our searchers, and it's, that's why the term Google it 
is, is a, out there. Yeah. Th that's why it is the verb of that it is today. Right. You know, because of that commitment to their their success. And and so what they've done is they've patented all these algorithms mm -hmm. and they patent all these, mm -hmm. these all these so a lot of stuff they they do publish and a lot of stuff they don't. Right. And then there's guys like yourself that have gotten really smart on them to manipulate, for lack of a better word. Right. You know, basically r help them achieve their goal. It's, right. It's like um, <clears throat> it's pretty much the same thing. When I was in the military, right. Yeah. I found out what the checklist was to win awards mm -hmm. because they actually have a checklist. Okay, I mean, like literally, yeah. like no kidding. Here's a checklist. <laughs> this is what you need. You fill in this. You need community service. You need to have your, you know, fill right. in your education. You, yep. know, you know, so if you look at that, and I looked at the checklist, mm -hmm. and I. Said, okay, marked all the boxes, and I won Airman of the Year two years in a row for yeah. all of Europe. Yeah, okay? I saw my, that. I saw my career So it was, the point is, is that it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you know what the search engines want, check mm -hmm. all the boxes, yeah. and they'll come up at the top. Yes, it's it's not it's not rocket science. Yes. Okay. So let's say that there is a there's a, a business owner or an organization out there that has a website. Where do they start? Because I know when I was first getting into the internet marketing business, which is actually just barely a year now that I've even been in the this. Well, that's in, impressive because you quite, <laughs> it seemed like quite an expert in all, a lot of pieces. So, well, I you know anyway, when I was first got in, I was clueless, absolutely clueless, and I didn't even understand what keywords sure. meant and what optimization was. And so, for somebody out there that maybe has a website mm -hmm. and maybe is wanting to to optimize for keywords, where where should they start? You what know what? Can I just ask? Because I'm, I'm the most uh, simple guy in the world optimization what does that mean it's really the process of um, you know making your, your yeah, site. Um, kind of polishing your website so that the search engines are able to it. yeah like it better and that's in its core and, element and Rob what you do is you help people is that your business people call you and then they can help make their website show up first on those Google's mm-hmm Okay. Correct. Sorry, so, I just wanted to make no, sure. No, that's great. So yeah. the, the idea is really is this. It's kind of a few fundamental pieces to mm -hmm. it. What you're looking at is a foundation, right? Mm -hmm. So just like, you know, if you're going to build a house, it's important to have, you know, a good architect. So that way, you know, every, you know, and I get, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, a builder, but the, the pieces are all there. You want to mm -hmm. have a good structure and things like this. Well, that's what goes back to content management. And I'm glad that actually came up as the first little <laughs> tangent that we went on in this show <laughs> because it's so, it's so, it's so key. Um, I have websites without content on them, without, w with just a, um, a few inbound links. We'll talk about this, mm -hmm. um, just to show the power of the content management system and off-page optimization. So if you have a good platform, mm -hmm. and again, when we're talking about platforms, it's like um, some people have a website, and if they look at it, it's you know, index.html or something like that, and their website's an HTML document, okay, mm -hmm. or it's heaven forbid a cold fusion document or something <laughs> like this, right? Don't even get me started. Um, <laughs> if you look at these systems, those are systems that, you know, although they're just older forms, right? If you're on something like WordPress, let me talk, and or Drupal, let me talk about why, just in a 30 second here. Sure, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> the important thing is this. You have a website, okay, and you add a new page to it. Mm -hmm. So you create a new page. Now you have to put that page in the menu and, you know, make sure that it goes in the relevant menus. If you're having a static website, meaning that it's, it's, it's just on its own. So you have a bunch of different HTML documents. Th to add a new page, you have to go through every Every document. single one and link back. Right. So if you're going to build a, like a structure, it's basically just like the files on your computer, right? right. You have the directories exactly. and you have the files. And with the HTML, they're just linked through. So and with a content management system, it essentially kind of manages all of that manages automatically. That process. And so mm -hmm. one of the things you don't have to worry about is a huge one, broken links. Right. Meaning, and that's what it comes down to. So if you add a page, you right. take away a page, all of a sudden, you have to remember to go through all the documents. Right. Now, the search engines, if they mm. come in, mm. and they're looking at, and this door opens up to a to a brick wall, so mm -hmm. to speak, right? Mm -hmm. If you're in a house, and this door mm -hmm. opens up to a brick wall, you're like, well, this doesn't make, you know, this house is just funky, you know? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't <clears> want to live there. You wouldn't want to buy that house. But it, it is better to have a website than none at all. Oh, well, absolutely. Right. Yes, okay. absolutely. I'd so, rather live in a shack than be right. homeless. Right. Just, just that for some people, like for me, I don't want it to go over people's head and say, oh, you know, the Urban Beach Boys, this is only for stuck-up Internet guys. This <laughs> is, you know, I mean, we, we can watch this and still know that, yeah, I just got a static website, but, yep. you know, and I can't afford Rob or whatever. Well, here's the beauty uh -huh. is that you don't have to afford me. Mm -hmm. um, WordPress is free. Mm -hmm. You can go on GoDaddy um, for, I think they have WordPress hosting starting at 4 bucks a month. So extremely economical. Mm -hmm. um, you sign up, they install WordPress for you, mm -hmm. which is the beauty of it. All of a sudden, blam, there's your WordPress page. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's what's called themes. And again, this whole show is now in WordPress. Let's switch it up. <laughs> you have now themes in WordPress. We'll move on here shortly. Yeah. And yeah. the beauty of the themes is that you can literally choose a design. So if you have a website mm -hmm. that you kind of threw the design together, mm -hmm. you could go over to WordPress, get a theme, you know, essentially a generic kind of template that you can play with, you can customize, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now you have you have a new website. It costs you five bucks a month and maybe two hours of your time. Okay. Yeah, right. So it's not. Exactly, yeah. and and that was kind of and tiny that that was kind of where I was trying to mm -hmm. go with it is to mm -hmm. start like say hey so somebody's out there mm -hmm. they want to have that website so first thing they do so you would say start with WordPress well I would say or start with I would say blog. look at your platform now here's okay. a tip for you go to a website websitegrader.com websitegrader.com correct okay um, website g r a d e r dot com okay and this is the first step for you and a lot of times you've got to know kind of if you have issues before. I don't know, before you can get them fixed, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a great site to go to. You can put your URL in, mm -hmm. and it'll tell you basically, you know, as an example, if you do rob.berthoff.com, um, I have a 99 out of 100. So wow. And that's out website of, grader. And that's out of 30. Okay, so should I type that in here? Sure, rob. if you want. Um, it, it takes a second to load up. So rob.berthoff, and that's B-E-R-T-H-O-L-F.com. And just hit enter. There we go. So... This actually had, they've, they've done about 3 million websites that they've, three point, I think they're at 3.1 million websites that they've Index looked at, or, exactly, okay. and they've graded these. And so you get a percentile grade, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times you'll probably come up in the 20 percentile. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're, if you don't know about web and things like this, mm -hmm. your site may come up in the 20 percentile. What this does, is it shows you some pieces that you need to do. And Okay. Really, now we're getting we're getting past the platform. We're getting into what's considered on-page optimization. So, if you look, uh, if you want to break down SEO, search engine optimization, you can break it down into two main pieces, two mm -hmm. main parts. Okay. Part one, on-page. So things you do to your website. Okay. Part two is off-page, and off-page is essentially inbound links, inbound and we'll talk about those and, pieces. And, and off-page content. Exactly. Off content. So this gives you a lot of. Um, did it air it aired out on us? Is that what it did? Yeah. Uh, well, so so this so this I never site, did really get along with Darmesh, their programmer. I'm just joking. I'm just <laughs> joking. Right. He's probably watching right now. He's like yeah. deleting you from their records. Right. <laughs> no. So so it, so basically the um, this what this site does is it, it gives you a, a, it, it checks out your on-page optimization. It checks out your inbound links. Several key factors. Kind of all these different things, and it it. it, it presents their opinion of, of how score. of how how well it is. And again, it's something that can be manipulated because mm -hmm. I put mine at 99 percentile. Right? Yeah, so again, sure. it's just a matter of you can manipulate anything, right? Right, right? But what it comes down to is understanding some core pieces. So mm -hmm. if, as an example, are there broken links in your website, that's mm -hmm. a problem for search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your domain age, there's a lot, I mean, there's over a half, you know, mm -hmm. there's like, I think there's like 500 thousand factors or something, or 500, I don't know how many others, there's mm -hmm. insane amount of factors. <clears throat> Things like domain age, mm -hmm. right? So um, a little SEO tip, register your domain name at least three to five years out, right? That's a good because tip. Oh, there the we age. go. There it is. Oh, I dropped. Oh, my ah. goodness. I dropped. All right, I'm going to have to go in there and tweak it again. <laughs> they probably added new criteria, so I yeah. find out what the new criteria is, right. and I update accordingly. Mm -hmm. Not that I spend that much time on this thing, but <laughs> really, but see how it breaks it down for you. It's really great. So it says blog analysis. Do you have a blog? You know, it gives you, you know, grades. It'll add, it'll show you things like um, you know um, how many sites are maybe has images that are missing mm, alternate okay. text. Images. So basically, so somebody who's watching today, they can go they can go to this site and they can just plug in their site and right. and they can see w how it is that th that they're doing. Right. And then from there, so that's where you're saying start with what you've got right now. Right. And so then you can say, well, one of the ways that you can improve that is you can migrate to a content management system such as WordPress or right. Drupal or something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. And then and then that was going in turn going to help your search engine optimization. But one other thing, talk to keywords real quick and sure. help the help the, the audience understand so the importance of keywords. In addition to yeah, so because so I mean, you we could we could talk you know I, I want to try and keep it down at my level. <laughs> yeah. So so really when it comes down to it, you have to figure out um, you know you have to have a goal, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes down to it, you want to be able to be. Uh, you know, location, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So if somebody says, um, you know, I want to, I want to come up for the word um, Hawaiian activities. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a word that has a lot of search traffic, or um, Hawaii real estate, right? Right. Huge search traffic. Sure. Right? Yeah. So if you can, that's like being in, you know, I don't know what would be the mall or something. I don't know what would be the, you know. Okay. It's like one of the biggest real estate. It's the biggest real estate property. So it's a great location to be. So, so if that's your keyword. Okay. Now. <clears throat> 
if you want to optimize organically, now mm -hmm. organically meaning when you look at a search engine, mm -hmm. you have paid search, which mm -hmm. is like the, one of the first three that came up on that search we did, and then you have what's the organic search. Okay. So the with that, you have the option to um, obviously pay for it or organically be there. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're looking for a keyword like Hawaii real estate, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that want to be there, exactly. and you only have 10 positions in the first page. Right. So you have to figure out, is it realistic for me? Because it all comes down, you know, is that keyword realistic, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's some really cool keyword tools. If you go to Google and you just type in keyword tool, and it's Google's keyword tool, mm -hmm. this is a great place to find out. T O O L? Yes. Um, so just say key, uh, keyword tool? Go Google, t or a keyword tool, yeah. yeah. And what this will do is it's um, the first one that should come up is Google's AdWords. There it is right there, uh, first listing. Um, actually, if you want to go back one piece. Um, Keyword and tool. so, so what this keyword tool does is it is going to show people what kind of traffic and what kind of competition right. there is. For a that. lot is of that? exactly a lot of um, kind of SEO hacks. Mm -hmm. They'll say, you know, I can't get you Hawaii real estate, but I can get you, um, you know, Obscure. real estate in Kaimuki with one bedroom listing or something like that. Right. And they're like, okay, I'll, I'll, I, they I can handle that. Yeah. But the problem is, is that you have to go to this tool. Does mm -hmm. anybody actually search it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this tool uh, is the first one on the list, Google AdWords. Mm -hmm. This is a great tool. Again, it's free. Everything I'm talking about today is free, mm -hmm. okay? Um, even my time right here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go to this tool, and you can literally plug in what you think your keywords are, mm -hmm. okay? Or you can plug in just your website. It'll tell you what you think your keywords are. Okay. Beware if you're starting an SEO campaign with somebody. Find out if there's any search traffic for the keywords they're optimizing you for. Mm -hmm. okay. Because a lot of times they'll be like, oh, I got your number one position for this. Nobody searches for it. Nobody's exactly. using it. Exactly. The right? kind of the important thing is the le the level of traffic. The, you know, one of the tools that I use is a paid uh, tool. It's called Market Samurai. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you've ever used it. Or I think I actually may have mentioned it to you once. Yeah, I think I did take a look at it when you mentioned that. Yeah, and it is very very powerful. And it's mm -hmm. it's a um, uh, what's the it's the Adobe uh, Flash um, based. Uh, okay. in, install it's uh -huh. it, it's uh, it's an executable on your computer. Okay. What is that? What is that that platform? I can't even think of it right now. Adobe's. Yeah, it's. Well, Adobe has Flash, and then. It's the it's the. Um, Microsoft has Fireworks. Oh no, sorry. Uh, 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 now I can't Silverlight. Silverlight. Thank you. Yeah, but any at any rate, it's a it's a um, market samurai. It's okay. very very helpful. I have learned so much, and actually, that's where I learned most of my uh, search engine optimization. Sure. In, in, in is from that, and then of course you kind of explaining some things in, in one sure. of the talks that I heard you. Tell. Anyway, listen, let's move on from search engine optimization and, and okay. WordPress and uh, content management. Again, you're listening to K108. This is the Urban Beach Boys. My name is Hal Wilkerson. I've got Rob Bertoff here this morning, and uh, we're streaming live on OC16.tv and Oceanic Cable Channel 16. Good morning. Okay, so let's move on from uh, search engine optimization, which is a very, very interesting and complex topic, and move on to something that's probably a little more closer and nearer and dearer to our listeners' hearts, and that is social media. Sure. So we were talking as right before we were coming in, and you were, you know, because we were talking about search engine mm -hmm. optimization, and then and then you start talking about Google is looking for where the information is. Exactly. And now, most visited site, on the internet today, Facebook, Facebook. social media. Mm -hmm. And so now social media is, is really becoming an important part of this whole user experience and the search experience. So so talk to me a little bit about, about sure. social media and how that. Well, when we take a look at, um, you know, one of the things we, we neglected is, is the off page optimization right. of SEO. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's that if you were to do a pie on page mm -hmm. versus off page, right. <clears throat> off page is about 75%. So it's extremely important. Uh -huh. Okay. When you look at this, what they do is, um, you know, Google ident looks at where all the traffic, where, where all the content's being generated. Okay. okay. They figure out where the conversations are taking place. Okay. okay. And if you know your website, you know, kind of going back to how how search is now social. Mm -hmm. If your website is originally, it's all about inbound links from, let's say, blogs or right. things like this. Well, people don't blog as much as they tweet. Mm -hmm. Right, and yeah, people sure. check. You know, people will just do a comments or a status update in Facebook and mm -hmm. check into places. Well, all of Google has to figure out, you know, where's the content at. They need to have the most relevant information. Mm -hmm. So, right now they're looking towards things like Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook. They're looking to these different social media because that's where most of the content is being generated. Right. That's so, rel that, now, I don't know if it's relevance is as high, but it's maybe the collective or the aggregate of all exactly. of those different There's tweets a lot of and status updates and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, what's funny is I, I noticed, um, 
now Google is is whenever I'll do a search for instant something. Search. Yeah, well, instant search, mm -hmm. but as far as the social part, okay, okay? Mm -hmm. you know, about I don't know two thirds down to the page, it'll say because I've got Facebook, I've got mm -hmm. Twitter, they're all I guess linked to my Google account, mm -hmm. and so Google knows says, hey, you are you know this is what your friends have to say about this topic, right? Which is really really powerful, and that's and and Google's learning from social mm -hmm. and you know um, social is social media mm -hmm. you know is all about it's it's it's, it's a conduit for conversation mm -hmm. yeah. and Google's realizing that you know you know before they were taking advice of just sites like TripAdvisor or things mm -hmm. like this where you have to do these user reviews in the site mm -hmm. well now they can grab this stuff right from the the live the web stream yeah yeah now um, <clears throat> let's talk about location-based services here for a second cool you, uh, I read an article uh, in getting ready for this show okay. that, that you had been quoted on, which I think was at TechCrunch or, uh, or, or maybe it was even maybe Honolulu uh, Business Magazine, one of the, one of the two. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you were talking in there about, about uh, uh, location-based services. Right. And um, so, so location-based services, I mean, it's all of the rage these days because everybody and their dog mm -hmm. has got an iPhone, has got right. a, a GPS-enabled mobile device. Uh -huh. And the cool thing in 2010, was like ah, I'm the mayor of you know right. Billy Bob's you right. know <laughs> restaurant uh -huh. or whatever you know, uh -huh. and 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 it, it seemed like for me personally, of course, my experience may be different than the average user, but right. but you know it's like early 2010, like oh check in on Foursquare, four mm -hmm. check in on Foursquare, you know, yada yada yada, and now and then there's Yelp and uh -huh. Yelp was kind of this whole thing. Where do you think that's going? I mean, because well, to me it feels like it's not. It's like okay. It's a little bit much, and to me, it's not that important because I'm not getting much value sure. as a user for checking in. Well, you have to look at history, right? Mm -hmm. You look at when the tools first came out, and when Twitter first came out. And a notable point, I was the first Twitter oh, user in Hawaii. Oh, that's right. I did. I put yeah. that in my status update about you, by the way. Okay. Today, too, so, <laughs> so I'm just saying, when when Twitter first came out, nobody was using it. Mm -hmm. People thought it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now, I still think it's somewhat ridiculous, mm -hmm. but. On, on a side note, um, but you know when you when you even look though at, you were the first Twitter user in Hawaii, which by the way, how do you know that? How do you, you can know do a that? status stream? Really? Yeah, you can do a search the first tweet ever sent and things like that. My username is also Rob. I know exactly. R O B. Yeah, so, I, um, I was stalking Evan Williams, who's okay. the who actually created Blogger. <laughs> that's, that's scary. You just said you were stalking. Well, I, mean, I, 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 I stalk. I stalk. You know, Roxanne Darling. Um, or, or, you know, I stalk. Yes, of uh, you know, uh, Jay Bear. You know, I stalk people. It's my digital stalking. Right? So search engine optimization and stalker. And stalker. Right, there you go. No, but you were following the Evan, the guy that yeah. created Twitter. That exactly. Yeah. Um, so you're following him because you know you spent some time in San Francisco. Right. You were kind of in the in the val in the uh, you were there mm -hmm. and kind of on that kind of in that community. And so, so he when was, he he left when he left Google, I knew something was up. Mm -hmm. And I'd been following from when his blogger days when he owned Odeon Corp and things like this. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it's just interesting to see how these things go. Found you know Twitter. So um, talking about Foursquare now, you have to look at that. You know, Twitter had didn't have adoption early on. Foursquare, Correct. Yeah. you know, there's a couple of them out there. Foursquare, yep. Gowalla, mm -hmm. um, you know, Yelp now has, because mm -hmm. Yelp's been a very existing site, they now have check-in on Facebook's building. jumped in on it Facebook now. Facebook now places. has it. Exactly. So there's a lot of new pieces out there. I think the, the concept mm -hmm. will be mainstream soon. Mm -hmm. Okay? I really do. I've been preaching that, of course, for like the last, you know, year and a half, mm -hmm. but I really think the, um, it'll be adopted, you know, mm -hmm. as a mainstream piece. There's a lot of benefits from a business perspective for as an example, location-based mm -hmm. geosocial technology, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially in events, especially in business um, restaurants, bars, things like this. Anything that has events or restaurants mm -hmm. is a great venue for this. For the idea of the software, is this: you have it on your phone, and you can go and you can see. As an example, I was trying to I was trying to check in here today. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Actually, we need to create. We need, you're going to create, create it. You're going to create a check. Yeah, yeah, we do. So you, you you scroll through, you find out what's around you. Okay. And you literally check in, or you say, I'm here at this location. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the beauty of that is that your people are essentially yeah. building a scenario. Um, they can um, essentially kind of you can you can assist through their loyalty, right? Okay. So here's an idea. So I.
same restaurant over and over again. Let's say that the wait staff changes different hours or there's a high turnover of employees. Mm -hmm. I may not get the The same recognition. service that you may have gotten right. from the regular. Exactly. So yeah. if it's not a mom and pop thing or whatever, mm -hmm. then, you know, as an example, Starbucks, right? You can go into Starbucks and you can get, if you're the mayor, meaning mm -hmm. that you've checked in the most amount of times, you can get a certain, you can get discounts and things like this. Yeah. So I'm, the, I'm still waiting for Gordon Beers to put a mayorship program. Oh, yeah. I've been the mayor there for, since day one. So. <laughs> okay. Hint, hint. No. no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so so you, what you can do, the beauty of it is this, when it comes to marketing, mm -hmm. let's say that you own two competing bars mm -hmm. and they're next door to each other yeah. or, or within a range. Yeah. And you own the first bar or restaurant and you sit down and you're about to order your you know, your poo poos and they say, you go to check in and you see an advertisement. And poo poos, by the way, for oh. audience, that's Hawaiian. That's Hawaiian, that's Hawaiian word for, adver advertisers. Uh, for app app <laughs> advertisers. That's right, excuse me. So you go to order and you, you may see that there's you go to check in and it mm -hmm. says hey next door there's this so and so or, okay there's a special offer next door okay okay sure so you may be like well there's 15 percent off or extended happy hour or whatever it is mm -hmm. i'll go next door yeah you can never do that in a in a live in a real environment i mm -hmm. can never have a club promoter or a bar promoter right in another bar handing out flyers to go next door correct so that is an interesting piece you can leverage that interesting. Um, a lot okay. of people are leveraging it for um showing uh, you know kind of like you know um showing members you know membership kind of pieces mm -hmm. things like this let's now, go to the gym with this. I think Yelp and Facebook now have in integrated a program to where they actually will get and Starbucks is is actually participating mm -hmm. I know of they're one of the larger mm -hmm. companies that's sure. doing it but if you check in on Facebook places or Yelp I think and obviously those are two mm -hmm. completely competing right. uh, uh, although they do have some unique relationships mm -hmm. as I've read but at any rate they that you check in on your phone through Yelp or through Facebook and bing it pops up says hey you know X percent off of whatever, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> so you know I, I'm seeing this stuff, and obviously that's kind of where the smart money is. It's not like Facebook is not the most, you know, sticky website there is right. on the in the universe right now. Right. You know, and so if they're spending money and time and effort mm -hmm. and, and resources on this, obviously there's something to it. There definitely is. Um, what's interesting to note is that it's more than just meets the eye. So the beauty of having something like location based, um, mm -hmm. an example, Pepsi and Safeway, mm -hmm. right, using Foursquare. When you check in and buy a Pepsi product at Safeway and, and participate, in, you know they were okay. doing a deal on this. Okay. It would actually collect points. Okay. So it's almost like a membership rewards concept mm, because they can and they can check you in at the location. Yeah. There was an example That's of a, a marketer's dream. Right well, now. what you're getting is you're getting all this extra information, yeah. right? So you're you're able to find buying patterns, mm -hmm. right? And you're able to find out all this, um, you know. You know, stuff that you would never normally be able to find through, and people are just sharing it willingly and things yeah. like that. So yeah. it's it's really quite interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there I would highly recommend. If you're going to get involved in social media marketing, mm -hmm. um, understand that your audience should dictate the tools mm -hmm. and things like this. So, naturally, you know, there's a lot of examples where location-based technology is not good for your business mm -hmm. and it's a waste of your time. Okay. okay. There's a lot of examples where it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. So, um, I highly recommend getting a local, you know, social media consultant to kind of help you with your social media strategy. Mm -hmm. um, the two that I would, you know. Well, first of all, we'll talk about the Social Media Club in a second. Sure, yeah. Um, but I would highly recommend, you know, Tara Cummins okay. um, with Akamai Marketing and Roxanne Darling of Bare Feet Studios, mm -hmm. two very um, good strategists. Considered some of the foremost experts on social media here in Hawaii. Yeah, and actually, uh, exactly. And yeah. Roxanne was even, um, you know, listed in the top 50 nationally. That's right. So, right. Um, yeah. really, and, and highly recommend that, uh, barefeetstudios.com and Akamai Marketing, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. dot com and I highly recommend taking a look at those. Having them develop you a strategy, because mm -hmm. really at the end of the day, you know, social media can be a huge waste of time yeah. if you're not looking at your results and exactly. things like this. Yeah. And what are some metrics that you think are important to look at for for social for businesses to measure their return on investment? Well, how do you say, you know, how do you measure, sure. you know, oh, it's, you know, my cat ate this for breakfast. Or, you know what I mean? Of right. course, and, and you and I both know that's not a good strategy or not good right. techniques. But but what are some of the metrics that a, that a really business owner should look at? It really needs to be about where... Your, what your goals are. Okay. Okay. So uh, Jay Bear of mm -hmm. ConvinceAndConvert.com. Okay. One of the guys in his stocking, right? <laughs> uh, he had, he put out a really great tool, and it showed the five kind of evolutions. Okay. Uh, of course, he didn't have it as evolutions. I would have done that, but okay. you know, it is what it is. The five different kind of steps, what are or segments of your marketing. So it's mm -hmm. kind of essentially, do people know about you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do okay. people have they you know do they know about you, but have they ever purchased? Okay. Do they know about you and purchased? Have they purchased multiple times? Are they an advocate? Essentially, okay. that's kind of the, so when you look at. 
um, you know, you can have different goals. Mm -hmm. For so different levels. Exactly. Of, of so if, if you're a brand new business, brand new mm -hmm. company, yeah. and you don't have a followership yet, mm -hmm. then you should be just awareness, okay. right? And okay. A you know a, a KPI or a, or a um, essentially a, a, an indicator of success mm -hmm. could be anything from website you know unique website views mm -hmm. to Facebook fans to how many people have opted into your newsletter and things mm -hmm. like this. It really all depends on at the end of the day what you're going to leverage that for. Mm -hmm. So if you've got tons of Facebook mm -hmm. fans, who cares? Right. Or do you have tons of Facebook fans that and you're being buying. active on Facebook yeah. and you're putting a message in front of them? Great example of Facebook fan page usage. One of my personal favorite stores now that I have a wife Victoria's Secret sure and they did a really good Facebook page campaign mm -hmm. uh, over the last year and for all of our female listeners out there if you like Victoria's Secret on Facebook you can see a really good example of engagement I don't know if sure. you've looked at that I actually haven't even looked at the fan page take but, a, um, if we could we could go to um, mm -hmm. facebook.com slash business fan page okay so it's important I Talking about Facebook, mm -hmm. again, um, <clears throat> it's a uh, business fan page. When talking about something like Facebook, it's understand that you know there's kind of um, there's different, I guess, goals, mm -hmm. okay, different objectives. The anatomy of Facebook. Now we're not talking about a personal site. We're talking mm -hmm. about a here it is here. We're talking about a business fan page. The anatomy of it is you have an image on the left, mm -hmm. and then you, your default go to what's called the wall, mm -hmm. and the wall is. A you know is kind of a uh, your status updates sure. things like this. Uh -huh. Well, with a business fan page, you mm -hmm. have the ability to actually create customized tabs. Okay. So this is an example here of what a customized tab can look like okay. for a Facebook fan page. So okay. rather than just going to a wall mm -hmm. with a little dinky uh, graphic in the top left, mm -hmm. and again this is just a this is a generic version is of what this, a fan page could be. Is this a Facebook uh, product or is this someone else's uh, product? This is well, this is um, this is me. Really? I create these. So I've actually created Fantastic. a content management system for Facebook. Wow. And I was, again, one of the first to create wow. a content management system wow. for Facebook. This is incredible because, it, I mean, Take you could have told me that this was a Facebook product and I would have believed it. If because you go simply to um, uh, um, facebook.com slash in touch Hawaii. And, and do, we have a, do we have a caller? Facebook, yeah, Hawaii. Okay. Facebook.com slash in touch Hawaii. Do you know the, the Facebook? Uh, do you know the owners of Facebook? Do you know them then? No, if you, oh. absolutely not. No. Oh, I thought maybe you were in touch with them. No. Okay. Little, we got uh, another sure. Rob on the phone. Rob's got a question for you. Right. Try that one more time. Go ahead. Is, Rob, good morning. Bob. Welcome to Urban Beach Boys. Oh. Go ahead, Rob. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I had a question, you know, because I, I have dyslexia real bad. So I use, I've been trying to use. Um, um, my not my space because you have to write in space you can't write in space you know so is the video uh, uh, like is that as good as typing it out I mean he has dyslexia sure. yeah. so your comments on video like my space not my space but YouTube YouTube is so a YouTube very, has very the powerful same power the top four. As the so when you're talking about um, you know different social media Platforms, channels, whatever you consider them, uh, YouTube is definitely up there. So I would mm -hmm. say, you know, Facebook, YouTube, uh, you know, Foursquare, but you know, eventually here. Um, and for the caller, you know, video is catching on. Oh, absolutely. Very much so. In fact, I don't have my exact stat here, so you don't don't think don't try to crack me on this one. But I, I believe um, when it comes to top search engines, um, YouTube is the second highest. Yeah, from what I've heard. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for backing me up on that. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and what that means is that people like video. Uh -huh. So. Even if you're not, so if you say, look, I don't have the time to write, I, I just can't get into writing or blogging, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Publish your videos, and I highly recommend that you do that um, to the caller. You can set up a YouTube account, again, free. Mm -hmm. um, you know, All you have to do is turn the camera on and And, and you can upload. start building a fo followership and things like this. So definitely YouTube is a is But even to find stuff, I'm, I, I find myself using YouTube all the time. Mm -hmm. Like when I found the jump song, yeah. I went to YouTube and yeah. Van Halen jump, or uh -huh. yesterday that football play where the player yeah. didn't wasn't tackled <laughs> he fell over the other player right so I just went to uh, a BCS Michael Dyer pops up and I could tell my girlfriend hey because she's the Oregon she's from Oregon mm -hmm. so okay. I said oh you want to see why you lost yeah uh, go to you know and <laughs> go I, ducks, I find go you, YouTube very useful yes yeah, it, it uh, yeah. yeah. and it's it's a visual medium that I think will you know 
bandwidth was always a problem with YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, but that's becoming less and less of a factor as it's unless, unless you're still my parents who, uh, who have <laughs> no, they have a satellite connection and and oh, um, my sister's got one of those. Oh my goodness! They cut you <laughs> off. So I go to visit and they cut the they cut you off. I think 500 megabytes is the biggest package oh. you can buy from them. <laughs> oh, those guys are scammers. Yeah. Hey, uh, Rob, hey, did you have yeah. any other questions on the phone uh, there? You no, know, just thank you for having that such a good show on because you helped me a lot. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you for calling. Appreciate it, Rob. Yes. Glad to hear it. So we were talking about Facebook customization. I would love yeah. to dive into this a little bit more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we're, uh, we're, we're, we've got about, uh, about nine minutes before the hour here. So, oh, yeah, my goodness. All right. I, I went quick. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll sum up. Here's what I want to say about Facebook. Um, you, I, utilize, I think you should utilize Facebook, not necessarily for, um, well, it's, okay, when we talk about those five different kind of pieces, right? You know, right. the initial, you know, just... Uh, right, you know, the levels of involvement. Exactly. So awareness. the first one, if, if you don't have awareness yet, mm -hmm. having a Facebook fan page that has a custom mm -hmm. um, tab is paramount. Okay. okay. For the reason that you don't want them going to an empty wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. And so if they go to a site and all of a sudden there's nothing there, mm -hmm. you know, They're there's, like, no, oh, there's, there's no, no activity. activity right? there, it, it's, if you sure. get them to a, to a landing page, it, you can prompt them to click like. It increases mm -hmm. the amount of people that are going to click like. Mm -hmm. Then it's once you involved. build, exactly, and mm -hmm. once you build on that and you start posting updates and saying, mm -hmm. you know, and you start communicating in your Facebook wall, mm -hmm. that's going to go up to their profiles. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're literally, if you can get them to like your page. You now have syndication. Exactly. Out to the people right. that like your product. And so the Facebook then is better for retention, is better for, you know, multiple buyers at that point. Mm -hmm. Because now you're, you're, you're facilitating a conversation. And mm -hmm. that's what social media is. Yes, absolutely. So I would love to talk about the Social Media Club of Hawaii. Yes, absolutely. So, so we've talked about search engine optimization, which right. you and I are geeks about. Uh -huh. And maybe I hope we didn't lose, you lose people in our, in our conversation about that because I could talk about that stuff all day. We've yeah. talked about content management systems and, it, and their importance. Mm -hmm. We've talked a little bit about social media. And, and this is all, it, this is how the Internet is evolving. I mean, mm -hmm. this is it. This has kind of been the evolved, I mean, the, the Internet is, is it's, a, it's a dynamic, growing medium. Right. And, uh, and today, one of the best things that the, the Internet does, in my opinion, is it helps bring people together. Sure. You and I would never have met otherwise had exactly. it not been for social media. Exactly. And a lot of a lot of people, uh, so the Maui bags, Maui brown bags, mm -hmm. I met her through Facebook. Right. You know. Um, so so now there's a there's an organization here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We've talked a little bit about mm -hmm. it. Uh, you're actually on the board for Social Media Club Hawaii. Correct. Okay. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, Social Media mm -hmm. Club is a group of local professionals. Is there a website? Yes. Uh, SMCHawaii.org. Um, and thank you for that. And it's a great place. We're meeting. The next meeting is on the 18th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it's we're, we're holding it at Ka Restaurant yeah. uh, in Ward area. And the beauty of it is that you're literally able to meet with professionals, talk about you know new trends, find mm -hmm. out what's going on because you don't really know about it. Until, you know, if you want to be in the know, mm -hmm. you've got to be with people that are that, pioneers, that right? Know. Exactly. Right. So. Sure. Um, and that's one of the things that, here's an example here, there's a kind of a good group of us there. Um, this is part of, an, of a national chapter. So mm -hmm. we're a local chapter, part of a national organization. And um, there's actually some international chapters. So again, the next one is on January 18th. Yep. It's going to be at Ka. It's going to be a great spot for you to go there, kind of mix and mingle with people like us, mm -hmm. um, and make some new connections and get some questions answered. I mean, that's a great place to find consultants and, and be a consultant. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And I've made some really interesting connections with folks there. Uh, met someone that, I don't know if you knew this, but we have uh, someone here that's just moved uh, to the islands about two or three months ago, and their company does iPhone app development. And they've oh, done, really? uh, they did Abercrombie and Fitch's uh, I, I, iPhone oh, wow. uh, Significant, and, yeah. And yeah, some you know they've had some pretty big accounts, and they've basically come out here because they wanted to be where it was a little warmer. Sure. You know, and <laughs> personally sense. with the, inter the uh -huh. internet, you can work from anywhere. You know, but um, yeah. So so I have met some really really interesting people through this. Fantastic. And, um, so yeah, that's Social Media Club Hawaii. It's next Tuesday night. I'll be there. You'll be, I'll there. be there. And uh, yeah, we're we're very much looking forward to it. Um, how about any other? Um, any other fan fan page tips, real quick, um, before we before we kind of wrap up um, with in, with Facebook techniques? Any other closing shots for some businesses? Sure. That maybe here's um, here's a little a little tip. Mm -hmm. If you're going to be communicating, because that's what being on Facebook is, is you're going to be sending out you know communication and you're mm -hmm. going to be posting messages. It's not all a sales pitch, right? right? So right. there's a, 
you know, use the 80-20 rule or whatever you want to do where you say... I've heard thirds, too, is good. Have you heard this before? What's that one? One third um, personal. Okay. One third uh, miscellaneous uh -huh. or kind of retweeting or re... Sure. You know, oh, on Twitter, posting, sure. Uh -huh. or, or even on, on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then one third business. Okay. So you should break it down into thirds. Is that a healthy yeah. balance, do you feel? or For Twitter, I think that would be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and okay. I think that, you know, on a Facebook page, it's, it's not going to be personal mm -hmm. because you're... You're engaging with them. Okay. So now, uh, last week, um, Bruce Fisher was on, and mm -hmm. do you know Bruce? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and he is really, you know, I've been following him. He and I met a few months ago as well, and uh, he really, I like his approach because he really does get personal a mm -hmm. lot of times on mm -hmm. his fan page. Mm -hmm. Like he'll talk about like what his, um, uh, you know, some interesting customer interactions sure. are and things like. Well, Bruce not, is the core. Bruce is his own. Brand, brand, sure. So, so if that's your brand, then you want to promote that. Okay. Um, okay. And it's important to do that. I mean, a lot of companies won't be doing personal because it's it's more of a corporate kind of piece, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, so so you you really have that. You have to figure out what your brand is. You okay. know what you know as Jay Bear says, what your one thing is, mm -hmm. and right. promote that. Right. Okay. Well, very very cool. Um, well, Rob, man, it has been a pleasure to have <laughs> you. And we have we uh, we've covered so many things, and I wish we could have another couple of hours. Tiny, can we go on? Or do we have, <laughs> sure. Next week, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> next week, Tuesday. Fantastic. Um, well, um, we uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I, I just got a comment from some of our listeners. Actually, and really enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the oh, show fantastic. today. So fantastic. so glad we've uh, glad we've been able to to uh, provide some good content. And that is our goal here on the Urban Beach Boys is we really want to just be able to provide some good, powerful, mm -hmm. helpful content for folks. If, if you're looking for a little bit more than the taste we just gave you, mm. um, I'm doing three classes in April okay. at uh, UH. Okay. So I do them every quarter. Um, it's on social media marketing, search engine optimization, and web analytics. Okay. And web analytics is is key. I think that that will be the big one eventually when people catch on. Yeah, yeah, So absolutely. And that's through Pacific New Media. PacificNewMedia.com, newmedia.com. Um, no, it just or if you just type in Pacific New Media, you'll find it. You'll find um, it. It's P and M okay. through the Outreach Center of UH. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. One other thing, what do to get Tiny to, to, <laughs> to get on Facebook. Tiny has completely stiff armed social media. He tried MySpace like ten years ago, and he's like, Nah, that's crazy stuff, right? Am I right? I, well, I really didn't try, but I think someone put me on it once. Okay. And but I, what I don't like is the dangers of it because. For one, I'm an addictive guy, so I don't want to be on Facebook or MySpace. Or sure. yeah. I just go to it when I need to. But I'm a full-on website, TV guy, <laughs> in person. If Here, there's a another earthquake and uh, here, here's a cool tip for you then, yeah. if you're updating your website, right. MySpace. Oh, sorry, oh, goodness, forget that. <laughs> Facebook, their ta custom tabs are actually iframes. So what you can literally do is you can feed content from your website dynamically into your Facebook tabs. So if, if I did anything, I was thinking of doing with the iPhone, because I need a new phone, doing a Twitter thing where I'm around places and I could show where I'm at. Yep. The Facebook thing, i just not into that. I don't want to hear from old relatives or friends. I really Quick don't. Quick tip for you. Uh -huh. Hootsuite.com, H-O-O-T-S-U-I-T-E.com, uh -huh. allows you to set up all your profiles, uh -huh. send one message out, they get syndicated out to your Facebook page, out to your LinkedIn profile, which is huge, another social, uh -huh. huge yes. channel, yes. Uh, out to your... Your different streams. But can I make it where I don't have to talk to the, the old classmates and friends? <laughs> it's, it's your choice. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, your, your fan page is your business presence. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be your personal well, Maybe I'll do that, that link thing to everything. I'll talk to you guys about it later. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> Definitely should. Uh, we we got to get it. That's yeah. my goal before 2011 is over is All to right. get Tiny on social media. Thanks for having me on the show. Rob, thanks so much for coming, and uh, we really appreciate it. Look forward to uh, engaging in the future. Who knows? Maybe we can have you again in the future. Mm -hmm. Best, best um, way to reach Rob would be on the... Yeah, um, you can Google me um, or just Rob Berthoff or search, uh, Hawaii Search Engine Optimization. Yeah. RobBerthoff.com. Yeah, they have a whole little uh, thing on you. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And then the spelling is B-E-R-T-H-O-L-F. Dot com. Dot com. All right. Well, thanks for being here. Thank All you. Right. And Fantastic. next week, any clue of what we're going to be talking about? Uh, we actually are going to have a fitness guest, I think, and we're also going to have it's a, nine a, a, a guest that does uh, presentations. So haven't haven't signed the ink on the contract yet, but uh, we're working on it. All right. <laughs> so let's put these tiny TV on OC16, K108. Uh, Urban Beach Boys, uh, and Mike will be here next week, too? Mike will be here next week, yes, right. he will. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more local programming on OC16 and CBS Our News on K108. The latest from Tucson continues hopeful. It's another major step as Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords fights to stay alive.
Dr. Michael Lamol says Giffords no longer needs assistance breathing. She's able to generate her own breaths. She's breathing on her own. Still, Giffords remains attached to a breathing tube as a precaution. The only reason we keep that breathing tube in is to protect her airway so that she doesn't have complications like pneumonia. Giffords remains in critical condition, but the fact that she has suffered no setbacks makes doctors very optimistic. Steve Futterman, CBS News at the University Medical Center in Tucson. There will be a memorial for the victims of the shootings tonight. President Obama this and that is presented in Hawaii by OC16. 100% original, 100% local.